So I had a question a while back about tithe. That's not what you wear to dinner. That's not what you wear to church. <laughs> He's talking about how to tie one weld into the other and make it all look like it's supposed to. You know, make it all look like one long seamless weld. You see the end of this weld? Nod the camera up and down if you see the end of this weld. <laughs> and you see the end of this weld over here. And what, you want, you know, what I want to do is I want to come in here and run that bead the rest of the way across and make it all look like I did it all at once. The way I like to do it is when I come in here and I'm going to start at the end of this weld, I'm not going to start where there's no filler. I'm going to start on top of the old one. You know, start on the top of the old one just a little bit. You know, maybe a sixteenth of an inch or so. So you can get that old weld molten back up just a little bit into the old weld. Get that all molten again. Then start working your way down. Start adding your filler as you're going. And that helps tie everybody together. When you get to the next weld, don't stop right at the end. You know, don't stop as soon as you hit the next weld. No filler, and just kind of work up into that weld a little bit. Molten, get it, you know, get it all melded together the way it's supposed to be. Then go ahead and stop. And then it all looks like it was supposed to, like, like it, you know, that's how it came out. Uh, You're gonna show us? Show you. Uh-oh. <laughs> yes, I will show you. And I remember, I'm gonna start on top of the old weld, Back up just a little bit, work my way down, start adding my filler, pull the filler out when I get to the next weld, work up into the, the, the next weld a little, back up a little, and stop. Okay, let's give it a shot. You see, this is where the old weld was, back up into there. Work my way down, start adding the filler, blend it back into the other one. I think it came out pretty good. And, and this is pretty much the same technique you would use for MIG and stick. Pretty much the same. You know, maybe a little, little fudge one way or the other, but I'm getting pretty good with this, not with those. <laughs> How do you do it with MIG, though? Because with MIG, you can't control, you can't stop and start the wire feed the way... Well, it, well with MIG... It's all about speed. If this if this was MIG, and I was going to start right here, heading that way, I would start just off of the weld in a new area, start my weld, back up, and go. And that would help tie things back together. It's a quick little move. You know, it, it, it's not it's not slow and steady like with the TIG. It's a little faster, just a little zigzag back and forth, and then go ahead and run your beat. And when you get to the other end, speed up just a little. Speed up, run up onto the, onto the other well. Just speed up and, and bleed it out that way. That seems to work pretty good for me. You know, if you can try playing with that. You might have to adjust it a little bit for your style of welding as opposed to mine. Well, I hope that answers the question. I'm going to get back to work. See you later.